Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. So today I'll be presenting to you my latest build. It's my attempt at creating a vehicle that can drive backwards and forwards and rotate on the spot, turn around like this. Now this particular build has been inspired by a Roomba automatic cleaning robot and I've kind of modelled that particular robot with this very simple LEGO model and uh, it's a very cool uh, robot uh, cleaning device. So essentially what it does, it kind of drives around all by itself and vacuums your carpet for you and it'll just kind of drive around your room until the whole room's done and the way this uh, particular uh, robot works is it's kind of got a circular design like this with two wheels and it can drive around and be able to turn on the spot simply by rotating each of the wheels in opposite directions and that'll kind of make it rotate pretty much like a track vehicle where you can kind of drive backwards and forwards and rotate and I thought well, that's a very cool robot um, be very interested to see if I can build the same kind of thing but instead of using just two wheels I thought it'd be quite interesting to build it using four wheels pretty much kind of like a supermarket trolley it's got kind of four thin wheels and the idea was that it was able to drive like I said forwards backwards and be able to rotate on a spot to be able to get out of you know tight situations now um, at first I thought it'd be fairly straightforward but it actually turned out to be a much more challenging design that I thought and I'll uh, talk you through some of the challenges that I came across. Alright so the idea of this vehicle is that we want to drive forwards, we just have the wheels pointing forwards so we can drive forwards and backwards and then we want to rotate on the spot. The idea is to be able to rotate the wheels themselves pretty much like a supermarket trolley they can rotate and if you put that 45 degrees on that then the vehicle will just drive on the spot in a circle allowing it to, to steer in any direction on the spot pretty much like the uh, Roomba vacuum cleaner. So the first challenge was to design the wheel element such that you could both drive it as well as rotate it. And of course uh, Lego provides this very convenient turntable element that allows you to do that. So it allows you to be able to uh, rotate you know, one element like this, for example a black element, and as well as pass through the middle some sort of axle that allows you to drive a secondary function. So in the case of that wheel design I've uh, got an example here. So again we've got that turntable mounted uh, within the uh, lift arms and then when I rotate the grey uh, axle I can drive the wheel uh, forwards and backwards and by rotating the other axle it's rotating the turntable that allows me to drive or rotate the, uh, the wheel itself so if I want to drive forwards put it in this position and then when I want to rotate on the spot we turn it at 45 and then drive the wheel forwards or backwards and make the whole vehicle turn on the spot uh, so note here I've made use of this particular um, bevel gear configuration where I've got them driving at 180 degrees rather than a regular 90 and that allows me to make a convenient gear chain to be able to drive the, the wheel itself and also note that the wheel is uh, the tire there, I've used a very thin tire so of course when you want to rotate the wheel on the spot if you've got a thick tire it kind of increases the friction because the outside of the tire has to travel over a larger distance than the inside creating a sort of a rubbing friction so you really want to minimise the surface area of the tire relative to the driving surface and then allows you to make the rotation of the wheel as easy as possible. Okay, so when I first had this idea, I thought it was just simply a matter of rotating the wheels inwards at 45 degrees and it would just kind of work. But as it turned out, once I got into the design detail, it was a bit more complicated than that. So I just tried to explain that on a piece of paper like this. So what I'll do, I'll just draw the four wheels. So this is just in the driving mode. So imagine we've got our four wheels like this. And the arrows indicate the direction of rotation of the wheels. So in this case, they're all pointing in the forward direction. So the vehicle will drive forwards. And then when we want to be in the rotation configuration, we need to rotate the wheels. For example, at 45 degrees like this, one like that, one like this, one like that, and one like this. And now you can imagine that uh, if the wheels are now rotating or driving, the whole vehicle will turn in the clockwise direction and if now if we can compare the original configuration with the rotation configuration we can see that we need to rotate the first wheel 45 degrees in the um, clockwise direction and then this bottom wheel here we need to rotate instead of clockwise we rotate it 45 degrees anti-clockwise it's, it's turning in this direction now if we compare, however, the ones on the right with this one compared to this one, we can see it actually rotating a lot more than 45 degrees. It's actually in fact rotating in the clockwise direction 135 degrees. So that's pretty much 90 plus 45, so it's pretty much three times the angle. And same with this bottom right wheel, instead of having to rotate 
45 degrees we have to rotate 135 degrees but in the anti-clockwise direction so that was uh, quite a surprise to me once I got into the detail it was actually a little bit different than how I thought it was uh, so that was one of the first complications that I had to deal with but there were a few others that I'll talk about uh, right after this okay so like I talked about in this design I need to create a 45 degree angle and the uh, first thing I thought of for doing that is the Lego Technic servo motor now the great thing about the servo motor it generates exact uh, 90 degree angles so when I activate the servo motor it rotate 90 degrees deactivate it rotate back again I thought well that would be the perfect mechanism for rotating my wheels of course instead of 90 degrees I need 45 so what I need is a 2 to 1 gearing ratio to convert that from 90 down to 45 degrees now in the process of trying to create uh, this mechanism here to, to rotate one of the wheels 45 degrees in the uh, clockwise direction and one in the anti-clockwise direction I came up with this kind of mechanism so this is the obvious way of doing it you've got two gears that mesh and by meshing the gears like that you can uh, rotate them in opposite directions because that's the nature of the meshing and then by rotating this in the uh, clockwise direction the top one I'm effectively creating that configuration that we're after so we've got the two wheels pointing in the directions that we need for the left part of the vehicle uh, now one issue with this particular configuration that I did find that kind of annoyed me is that when you've got them pointing in the driving direction the gears don't really quite line up because um, if you've got the top one exactly aligned at you know, zero degrees this one will be off slightly because of the meshing of the gears uh, requires that one has to be slightly rotated by one tooth uh, in order to mesh correctly so in fact you'll find that even though the top wheels aligned the bottom one will be slightly unaligned or it won't have the perfect same alignment uh, so one way around that a mechanism that I kind of designed that uh, works around that one is a mechanism like this whereby you've kind of got this intermediary uh, component in the middle there that sort of acts as a go-between between the two gears rather than meshing them directly what that means is you can now line up the tooth the teeth exactly because you've got these kind of intermediate teeth and by having a mechanism like this we can create that same 45 degree angle and get the angle that we need uh, for the wheels without losing alignment when we're um, driving forward so that kind of solved that particular issue which I was quite happy about and this is what I ended up using in my actual design okay so after solving that wheel alignment issue by using this mechanism I had to design the right part of the vehicle and the difference like I talked about before instead of rotating 45 degrees we have to rotate 135 and it just so happens that 135 is simply 3 times 45 so all I need to do is create a 3 to 1 gearing between the left side and the right side and that should be able to create the correct uh, design that I needed and so I put all that together and I came up with this kind of design here so again I've got that uh, wheel alignment mechanism in the middle I've got my left side I've got my right side and I've created a 3 to 1 gearing between the left and the right uh, on the back here so again this is simply a 36 driving a 12 in order to create that a 3 to 1 gearing and then we need uh, another gearing in order to keep the direction of rotation correct so now what we've got as you can see this kind of represents what I've drawn on the left here we've got the four wheels pointing in the forward direction and then as we rotate like this by the right amount we can see we've now moved into that configuration on the right here where each of the wheels is pointing in the direction it needs so this is pointing in this way that way, that way, that way, and that will create the rotation of the entire vehicle in the direction that we want. So we can be in the driving direction like this, or in the rotation direction like that. So that uh, is the design for the wheel rotation mechanism. Okay, so after designing the wheel rotation mechanism, it's just simply a matter of connecting the wheels as well to drive the entire vehicle forwards and backwards. So I've done that with a large power functions motor that is then um, geared through these uh, 24 tooth gears. And then the left and all the right and left side are driven through 5 to 1 gearing mechanisms to drive each of the wheels through those um, turntable uh, components, like I talked about earlier in the video, to drive each of the four wheels in the forwards or backwards direction depending on the direction of the motor okay so I'll just demonstrate the wheel rotation mechanism I've got the servo motor connected up at the top here driving all those gears now unfortunately the servo motor wasn't quite powerful enough to rotate the uh, wheels fully um, it was a bit of a design flaw on my part but I'll just demonstrate what it does do 
so when I turn on the servo motor it will start to rotate the wheels but they don't quite rotate the whole way and same with moving back they don't quite go all the way back and when I uh, first designed it I was hoping the servo motor would be powerful enough to be able to rotate the wheels correctly but unfortunately it wasn't okay unfortunately even though the wheel rotation doesn't work quite as expected I'll just demonstrate the model uh, driving forwards and driving backwards and then if I assist the servo motor in rotating those wheels we'll just uh, use the servo motor and then give those wheels a bit more rotation than they're in correct position which is what the anticipated result would be then we can see the model will rotate on the spot as expected and rotate the other way as expected as well now if I do sort of uh, wiggle the servo motor a bit the wheels will eventually go in the, in the straight position again but like I said not ideal it doesn't really work the way I expected and unfortunately the servo motor wasn't strong enough to rotate those wheels correctly which is uh, a mistake I made in my design process now unfortunately this design didn't quite turn out the way I hoped and uh, the servo motor wasn't quite powerful enough to be able to rotate those wheels fully but fundamentally I think that the design is still pretty good I just need a more powerful way of rotating those wheels uh, to be able to drive this car the way I was expecting to Anyway, I hope you liked this video and got something out of it. Um, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.